This looks like I'm about to take a picture of a Fiat 500 on a tablet, but it's actually a virtual car where I can open the door and take a look inside. It's a prototype designed and built by Accenture using Google's Project Tango. Thanks to Project Tango, you can actually uh, see a car in front of you, augmented reality car, full scale, and you will be able to completely configure it, looking at, for example, at the interiors, you can look at the, the paint of the, 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 the car, you can also look at uh, uh, switching on the lights, uh, we also added some multimedia features like the radio, for example, to make it more engaging for the consumers. The car configurator that we build is what we think a unique experience for the consumers because they can actually use it at home with the new devices to build their own car, the car that they are thinking to buy, but also it can be utilized by the dealers in the showroom so that they can offer to the customers a complete new experience because obviously they cannot keep all the cars with all the possible optionals. A Project Tango device maps the 360 degree environment around it. It navigates and views the changing environment in the same way as a person would. If you combine these three, one is area learning, one is depth, the other one is depth perception and the other one is motion tracking. You basically get a device that bridges the world of 2D, because now all the devices work in a 2D world, to the 3D world, which is the one that we live in. And so this is uh, the very big difference uh, compared to any other tablet or smartphones currently available. So this technology is different because, first of all, there is an element of interactivity. So we actually, you do the experience. You decide as this, uh, how the experience is going to be, because you can actually walk around the car and uh, change all the configurations and so on. So this technology is going to be available, uh, as I said, this summer. Um, Google will launch its uh, first uh, uh, device with Lenovo. And of course, we will see also more devices coming uh, to the market soon.